guys can hang out while I work on the car, but no pecking. You gotta be nice. Okay? I'll take that as a yes. Thank you. Hello. This is a rather dreary fall day here in Penobscot. As you can see, we're closing in on the holidays, so I've uh, dug out some of my ugly sweaters, been rocking those. And today I'm doing a headlight upgrade on my Miata. And the factory lights, see this one here, are just a standard sealed beam light. Um, so if you were to have a headlight out, you just take the whole thing out and replace that. And I am replacing them with these AutoPal E-Code headlights that I used to have on my Mark II Jetta. As you can see, I put this side in already. Um, these are a lot more, they're flush, they're not quite as uh, convex as the uh, factory headlights. Um, so a little bit of a different look, um, but still maintains that iconic Miata round headlight look. Uh, so I'm going to start taking that one out and I'll walk you through the process. It's pretty simple, uh, pretty easy upgrade to do, and there is a, a massive, massive amount of... Uh, just standard 7-inch round lights online. Any kind you could imagine. The H4s, projector ones, LED ones, whatever the fuck you want. And they're pretty cheap. Um, and I remember when I had these lights on my Jetta that had a very, very good light output. So that's my main reason for the swap. And because I already had them laying around, so they're not going to cost me anything. So I am going to start tearing this one out. Got to loosen up these three screws. You can twist the trim ring, pop that off, and the bulb just falls right out, unplug it. And next I'm going to have to cut the adjustment tabs off of this headlight so that it will fit in there. And another advantage to use, or if you're using European style lights, they have this little spot where you can screw in the uh, European style parking light. I don't have any that fit in there, but I will probably get some in the near future just to complete the European kind of look. So I'm going to head into the garage and we're going to grind these fuckers off. So I don't have any cutoff wheels left for my Dremel. Um, so I'm just using this as a tungsten carbide bit. This is like my go-to Dremel bit. And um, they're like 10 bucks, and I uh, definitely highly recommend them because they can cut through pretty much any material with relative ease. So I'm going to cut these off, and then I'll grind down these spots so the headlight can sit in there nice and flush. Right, so I popped all those guys off. Now I'm just going to grind down what's left of them, these little pieces there. So I'm going to step over here to the grinder. So I've got all those tabs off and ground down. As you can see, there's quite a bit of bare metal exposed now. Um, so instead of like sealing it up, priming and repainting this, I am going to coat it with nail polish, which by some strange coincidence is almost the same color as my work surface here. So shake it up good. I'm just going to put a nice thick coat on all the parts of it. So I've got a nice uh, thick coat on there. I'm going to let that dry. Uh, you won't be able to see any of it, obviously, with the headlight installed, but... This way I don't have to worry about any uh, bare exposed metal or anything like that. As you can see here, I've chosen the 
Sally Hansen Extreme Wear nail polish in mint sorbet to complement my headlight installation. I do say it looks quite lovely. What say you, Lulu? Quite lovely indeed. The trim ring also sits a little bit further forward on these lights, so I'm just ditching the three screws and using these ones which are slightly longer and they're also stainless steel um, so they won't rust out quick. After that's in, uh, just do any tweaking you want uh, to get this uh, headlight nice and level and then just twist the trim ring a little bit uh, to get these bolts lined up. Tighten them down and you're good to go. All right, I'll just pop this guy back on. All right, that's my low beams. Looking pretty good. And uh, those are the high beams. You can kind of see where um, it has the reflector inside there, where the bulb is. kind of makes these headlights look more like eyeballs on the Miata. That looks pretty cool. Uh, so the last step is to aim the headlights. Um, I'm not going to show you guys how to do that because there's probably a million guides on how to do it online. It's pretty simple. Um, I got to wait till it's dark out anyways. So I hope you all have a nice Thanksgiving coming up. And if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you have a wonderful Thursday. Um, if you go out shopping the day after on Black Friday, be careful. People are fucking crazy. I'm staying home. I don't know about you. Anywho, hope to see you next time. Peace. He was wiping her butt.